All right, so man, I got the bag right here. I got the bag right here. These are the bags by Think Tank. It's the Urban Approach 15 book bag. And I'm trying to see, is this a really good bag? No, it is, man. This is the fire bag. This is one of my favorite bags I've ever owned. So let's go ahead and get it popping. It's your boy, Marcus D. Porter. Holla at your boy. Woo! Ask me what I'm doing, just trying it. They just wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them. Be more bitch, trying to reach your next plateau. And I can't stop till I eat my toes. Keep a couple feet inside the photos. So I'm bitch up with the vibe and get fuck up my song. Hold on for a minute, let me count mine. You know, you know. Ask me what I'm doing, just trying it. They just wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them. Be more bitch, trying to reach your next plateau. So if you're a photographer out there or you're a videographer, I mean, I think this bag is, should probably be in your kit. So let's go through this bag and see why I love this bag so much, okay? All right, so look, let's check it out. This bag is real nice, man. I can put this thing on my back. The straps feel real good, very snug. You can kind of adjust the straps. Holla at your boy. <laughs> I can adjust the straps, man, it looks cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with it, you feel me? Bam, holla at your boy. It fits real good on the back. Um, this is the reason why I really love this bag. Um, when I pack this bag with my camera gear, like my Canon 5D Mark IV or my EOS Rs, my lenses, and some of my audio gear, it feels heavy when I pick it up. For some reason, when I put it on my back, it doesn't feel as heavy, which is a real good thing. You can snap it right there. The straps feel real good and they feel very high quality and it just feels comfortable on the back. Um, so um, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let me go inside the bag and kind of go around the bag and kind of show you guys some key features why I love this bag so much. On the front part of this bag, we have some zippers here. You can kind of keep your passport in here. Uh, some business cards. Sometimes you can put your phone in this little part right here in the front of the bag, okay? I really love this part. On the sides, you have pockets. Pockets where you can fit a water bottle, you can fit Sprite. You have two sides with pockets on the side. Um, and then you have a, uh, another compartment, a zipper on the back of the bag. So if you unzip the back of the bag, you, oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> All right, so you could fit like a laptop in this bag. I usually uh, fit my 15 inch MacBook Pro. I put it up in this bag. It has another compartment inside where you can maybe slide your keys, your wallet, to kind of hide it in the back. And then, you know, in this bag, I got my iPad in here. So I got my iPad and I have, you know, the little keyboard here. It's got some stuff on it, man. Oh, I don't know what's up with that. Oh. Well. <laughs> the last thing on the outside of the bag is you have this clamp here. So this clamp on the back of the bag, you can pick this up, right? And you can actually put this on your luggage at the airport. So you can kind of stick the little handle up in there right there. And you can put it on your luggage and you can roll your luggage, you know, like that right there. Okay. So I like this. You can also pick it up. Yo, what's good with you, fam? We good. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty cool, man. So let's get inside the bag and see why I like this bag so much. So I want to show you guys the inside of the bag without nothing in it. So look, as you guys can see, you know, it's COVID. So we got the mask going on right there. So it is COVID, <laughs> you know, the times we live in. So here we go. Yeah, holla at your boy. The bag has some compartments in it that are real cool. You can kind of change out the compartments in the bag. So they're removable. They come already done, but I like how they're already done, but you can change them out. You can fit a 70 to 200 in here. Let me get that right quick. 70, 200, fit that in there. Fits real good, man. They're snug right in the camera bag, 70, 200. You can fit two DSLR cameras. This bag is really made for mirrorless cameras, but I can fit a, two 5D Mark IVs in this bag. I usually, I usually would have a 5D Mark IV and a 5D Mark III in this bag. Um, but now I have the Canon EOS R's, the R6's, and you know, I can fit a DSLR and a, uh, a mirrorless camera in this bag. I can fit some lenses in here. 
I usually keep my batteries in this compartment. I fit my batteries in here, chargers there, some lenses. Um, we also have like some zippers here. So with these zippers, um, I can store batteries, I can store chargers, I can put my wallet in there. So I got a couple of batteries in there, stuff like that. And so, you know, you can put some chargers in there. Oh, I'm dropping everything today, man. You know, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just dropping everything. So we're just gonna kind of set this bag and put it to the side for right now. Oh, let me get this too. Let me get my charger. I don't have two cameras because I have one camera moving here and I got one camera on there and I got another camera on the way. All right, so I got triggers in here. I got this in there. I got battery chargers. I got triggers, batteries. I got my EOS R in here. <laughs> I got another battery charger. I got a couple of these in there. I got a audio device in there. Got a couple of lenses, another lens, and just a whole lot of junk. My bag is like not clean, so don't judge me, okay? But man, you can put a lot in this bag, man. And when you put this stuff in the bag, it's very snug. It's snug, it doesn't shift around, and you can kind of move these things, these dividers, how you want it to fit in your book bag. Um, I've had this bag for about three or four years and I take it everywhere I go. Um, whether I'm out on the shoot, um, I can lay on it, I can um, sit on it. I can even strap some extra um, reflectors and clamp it to my bag. I can put a tripod on the one the side um, and the zippers are just built real nice, very durable. Um, it's got so many pockets for storage. Um, it's just a real good all around bag, man. So much in love with this bag that I bought a second bag. And I know there's other cool bags out there. This bag is just very durable. It's very, it, it will get the job done. It's rugged. And I know there's some like fancier bags out there, but this bag, you can find it at Think Tank. It's the Urban Approach um, 15, I believe. It's the Urban Approach 15. Find it for about 179 bucks, I think, uh, which is not bad. And you know, shout out to the guys at Think Tank for creating such wonderful products, man. So if you don't have a camera bag and you need a camera bag and you got the little money to spend for a camera bag, you can get this from Think Tank. It's 179 bucks. Make sure you holler at those guys. I hope you like this little, you know, whatever I just did about this bag. But this bag right here is fire, man. Go get you one. I'm gonna see you guys on the next video. Make sure you guys subscribe to your boy because I'm back on this joint, okay? Holla at your boy.